Hello everyone, this is Alan from Technology Moments and if you saw our video in our Amazon storefront, you are witness that we do not get tired of testing security cameras. They are necessary everywhere and the most important thing is everybody actually needs at least one. As usual, our objective is to let you know what to expect from this camera before you buy one so you can make an informed decision. We will never tell you to prefer one or another model or brand. We present you the facts, the images, the footage, the setup, we give our stars and you decide. Today, we'll share with you the experience that we had with these Gala U 2K HD cams, the G7. That's right, a camera model that seems to have a lot to offer. Let us show you what you can expect from them. If you're looking for security devices, always get at least two. Not only because they may cover visually for each other under some special circumstances, but also for backup purposes in case one fails. Also consider to have them connected to a UPS, so in case power fails, your cameras will keep recording for a while. Also do that to your router so you don't lose remote access. As for the app and the skill, we really like them. Features, availability and quality as we'll see in a moment. They come simple packaged and we really like that. And closed, you'll find the setup instructions in case you need them, wall anchors, a 2 meter USB Type-C cable for which you may actually want to consider adding an extension as is usual with these cameras, a USB power adapter, the camera itself and a drilling template. First thing that popped to my mind was how small they were compared with similar cameras such as the Blink Mini. You'll have everything at hand, even the reset button that actually may be way too at reach and easy to activate. Also the convenience of the local micro SD slot, for which we had a lot of trouble using cards with more than 32GB capacity, even though the manufacturer states that 128GB capacity is its limit. However, 32GB will give you a good recording cycle as you can see right here. For these files, you'll get this much time of recording for this disk space used. One of the things many will appreciate is that they are way too easy to configure and you'll have them up and ready to record in about 2 minutes, even if you didn't have the app and need to create an account, as it has the convenience to sign in with Google. Our preferred method always is set it up on your desktop, test it, learn how to use it, then install. Little pause here. If you choose Google, you may not be able to use the skill in Amazon Alexa with that account, so I would go for creating an account in a traditional way, just a few more clicks. Procedure is as simple as downloading the app, then follow very simple steps. Let's see it. First, connect the camera, select the camera and model you bought from the app, in this case it is the G7, make sure that your camera has the LED flashing, if not, just power cycle the camera. Continue with that button, give the permissions to the app and then it'll ask you for your Wi-Fi password so it can generate the QR code with that information. QR code that you'll just show to the camera and immediately you'll get the confirmation. Click next and camera will be added to the system. It only takes a few seconds after that. Another pause here, make sure that you have a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network otherwise camera will not work. If your cell phone is connected to the 5 GHz band, which is very common, it'll warn you about that, but continue anyway, which is good, as it is very common to have the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi in the same access point with the same name, but having your cell phone connected to the 5 GHz Wi-Fi. Let's continue. After camera connect, name your camera, which is very important if you want to use it from your Alexa or Google Home devices, and that will be the name they respond to. And as an optional step, you'll be presented with cloud storage and all its options depending, of course, in the number of cameras you'll get. For those of you who prefer local storage, of course you'll get that option too. And I use for both my cameras different micro SD cards. As I told you, I actually had trouble using 64 and 128 gigabyte models. So I went for 32 gigabyte models with no problem. Right here, a big warning. It is very important and stated in the user's manual that you do not insert the micro SD with the camera on, something many of us tend to do very often. I started testing with other micro SDs I had laying around and cameras worked fine with up to 32 GB. We hope that this gets fixed in future firmwares as it is not the only camera with similar bugs. Then I was able to start testing and using my cameras and I have to say I have been gladly impressed by this experience. They consume about 2 watts of power per camera which is actually above the average and you can tell as they get warm after a while. It may be due to the fact that these are small yet powerful cameras for their size. About the Wi-Fi, 
Mm, you better place them at a location where Wi-Fi signal is strong, otherwise live views will be difficult to get or even retrieving files from its internal storage. Something common in all these type of cameras. Let me show you some clips as I tell you more about these cameras. Something I liked is how fast they boot, as in 15 seconds or so, they'll be ready and connected. Resolution as you can see right here is very good and access from the app remotely only takes a few seconds. You'll be able to maintain 2K resolution live views from the average speed mobile networks. You can however switch to standard definition if your data plan gets affected. I noticed that the app in my Samsung phone crashed sometimes after biometric check. It doesn't when I let the app open for a few seconds. Let me tell you more about these cameras and the things I liked. Motion detection is very well balanced, however, as I always advise, start from a higher setting as it's better to have more footage than to miss an event. Particularly, I like the motion detection siren, which you can even remotely activate. Talking to the cameras is easy and fast and microphones have very good gain quality. Speaking to someone in front of your camera is surprisingly clear with such small devices. Night vision is another strong aspect in these cameras and let's remember from many other videos we've made, quality at such night views is something most cameras struggle with. Of course, we're not talking about high-end cameras. You can also share with your family or friends when you leave on vacation and it could not be easier so you can have someone to watch after your home. Something important here is that the other party has to already have an account created. It's not like an invitation to download it. 24-7 recording is a plus considering that there are many famous brands still not offering such simple setting. But of course, be aware that if you use local storage, you may have to have cards replaced after so many months. Remember, these are security devices. Use well-branded micro SDs. The skill in Alexa shows the camera wherever I am. However, more than once, the command failed to show me my live views. Something to note here is that if you use Google to authenticate in your app, you may not be able to use it from the skill, as there is no such login with Google option in the skills and your Gmail password just doesn't work. At this point, I had to create another account, import my cameras, just a few more clicks, no big deal. Either from the app or from the skill, once streaming was possible, stream worked very good and was very stable. From the app, we never had a problem or failed streams. Finally, one aspect that we liked is that you can simultaneously watch in more than one device, say from the Alexa skill and then from your app. In the Alexa skill, there is an added 8 to 10 second delay. We're very pleased with the experience these cameras provide and building a system with two or more is now more affordable than ever. We hope this video gave you the necessary information for you to decide if this is the right option for you in terms of security cameras. Thanks for watching our videos. Remember that you greatly support us by subscribing to our channel and hitting the like button. See you next time.